hey collective hey welcome back guys welcome back shout out to the entire youtube fam i love you guys happy thursday okay um let's go ahead and jump in because i got a dope download guys <laughs> i got a dope download this is actually not a funny message but i'm laughing because it's like for somebody you know, when, when you are a spiritual teacher or you are a spiritual guru of some kind, or when you are actually, this is what make them great. This is what make prophets great. This is what make uh, spiritual gurus great, spiritual teachers great. This is why their legacy live on. Okay. Because of their teachings, because of the information that uh, they give, right. It's kind of like, when you are a vessel, right? You download the information in a certain way. You perceive the information in a certain way. So when you regurgitate it, okay, it resonates with people. For somebody, I feel like it's it's like you have a you gonna have a story that you have to share, okay? Because the message was make sure you read the fine print. There are conditions upon your healing. And that's what was funny because of the way that I downloaded the information just like that. Make sure you read the front, the fine print collective, okay? Because there is conditions up, uh, upon your healing, okay? So it's like, this is how... This is how God show people he real, okay? By people sharing their testimony, okay? For somebody, you gonna have some type of healing testimony uh, that you have to share. For somebody, you could be seeking God for some type of healing, okay? This don't have to be um, a phys like a physical ailment. This could be something mental, okay? This could be something spiritual, okay? Uh, but again, there's some type of healing, okay, that you gonna receive, okay? And when you receive this healing, okay, you gonna have to share your story. I'm seeing the return, a new story. Uh, this says you decide, alignment, it's all coming together. For somebody, your healing coming. You've come into alignment, okay? You've come into alignment to receive this healing, okay? And this says you decide. Again, there are conditions upon your healing. A new story is here. For somebody, God finna rewrite your story. Yeah, codes of the seeds, okay? The blueprint is within you. Take the next step. For somebody, the next step is you sharing your testimony, okay? And this don't have to be like um, a big grand gesture, you in front of the church, okay? <laughs> you in front of the congregation sharing your testimony. No, it can be you sharing your testimony uh, with one person at a time, okay? It can be uh, you sharing your testimony with a small group of people, okay? Or a small group of friends or sharing your testimony with, um, you know, you might go go and speak to, to some type of boys and girls club, you know what I'm saying? Or some type of group of kids, you know what I'm saying? So again, it you sharing your story don't have to be a big grand gesture, okay? It don't have to be that. I'm seeing the sacred waters, okay? Wow, nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, self-care, okay? The sacred waters. For somebody, you tapped into the sacred waters, okay? You tapped into the sacred waters. For somebody, you might feel like you need to connect with water or you've been connected to water. For somebody, you might need to connect with the salt water, I'm hearing Florida water. Somebody, you might use Florida water, okay? Or you need to use Florida water, okay? For somebody, your health is being restored, okay? Look, a new story came out first. 
Hold on, let me try to get this from blurring. I'm sorry. Okay, a new story came out first. Then Sacred Waters came out. It says health on Sacred Waters. Health. For somebody, your health is being restored. But again, read the, the fine print. There is conditions upon your healing. I'm telling you the fine print. You gonna have to share your story for somebody, and I feel like um you can't be shamed, okay? You can't be shamed. You can't be shamed, you know, period. Don't allow something to shame you and God done healed you from it, okay? This is the point of him giving you that um that battle to heal you, to bring you out of it. Because this is how he gonna turn non-believers into believers. This is how he going to use you. Yeah, the fertile void. For somebody, this is how he going to use you. This say secret beginnings. Potency. Wow, this is dope, guys. He birthed this storm in you, okay? The perfect storm was created, okay? Again, secret beginnings is here. And we seeing a new story here. For somebody, again, God is rewriting your story. Somebody, your health is being restored. For somebody, I feel like you might need to pour into you or you've been pouring into you lately. For somebody, God is pouring into you. Look at this card. It's like there is a person sitting on the edge, right, of the pool. But there is a face above him pouring into him. For somebody, this is God that is pouring into you at this time. There is a lot of divine presence around you, okay? Okay. There is a lot of angelic presence around you at this time. For somebody, you being healed. Rapture is here. Sensuality, love, devotion, romance, ecstasy, pleasure. For somebody, you are being healed. There are many things that are being poured into you at this time, okay? This say, say yes, expand through the extremes. Trust in life. For somebody, this is so accurate. You are expanding, okay? God is elevating through this extreme in your life. What did I say? The perfect storm was created. For somebody, God going to use you to turn a non-believer into a believer. This is how God manifests, okay? This is how God show people he real. God is, is, is in the spiritual realm, right? So it, it's like, even though he walked this earth with us, he don't. So you have some people who, God know everybody. He know, he, he know what will change, what will change people. God is using you to change people, okay? Your story is going to change people. It's going to change their perspective. It's going to change their view. It's going to change their outlook on things spiritually. I'm seeing brothers of the rose, okay? Sacred, masculine, honor, protection, support. This, that God card. This, that God card. And look what's at the bottom. Codes of the seeds again, okay? The blueprint is within you. You're protected. This says protection. You are protected, collective. Again, I, I did a reading on this the other day. When God put a gift in you, right? The fertile void. You were fertile at some point. God planted the seed in you at some point. 
that gift that God planted in you, when he planted that gift in you, it came with protection. It came with anointing. For somebody, you carry an anointing. This is why you can't get sick. There is an anointing on you. For somebody, you in the white bubble. Wow, it came back out, guys. Rapture is here. Trust the seasons. Trust the seasons, embracing change, cycles of life, transition, growth. For somebody, you go. This is like a growth phase. You going through some type of uh, type of growth phase. There are many things that God is pouring into you at this time. Okay, there are many things with this rapture card: sensuality, love, devotion, romance, ecstasy, pleasure. There is a lot that is being poured into you. Again, read the fine print. There is conditions upon your healing. The Rose Garden, okay? Innocence, forgiveness, be gentle with yourself. For somebody, you got to be gentle with yourself, baby, okay? And look, Sup Rosa, hidden in plain sight, mysteries, learning, and teaching. It's something hidden in plain sight, collective. It's something hidden in plain sight. For some of y'all, this your healing. Maybe you just don't believe. But again, there is conditions upon your healing. For somebody, you just got to share your testimony. You got to share your testimony. God is not healing you uh, for you to sit on that information. It, it defeats the purpose. So why would God heal you if he know you're not going to speak? Think about that. Why would God heal you if he know you're not going to speak? No, let me use these actually. Yeah, you are highly ranked in the spiritual world, okay? For somebody, you are highly ranked in the spiritual world, okay? You come from a divine lineage here, okay? You have ancient divine blood in you, literally. Your DNA is different. Yeah, it's split right here at wake up. For somebody, you need to wake up to what's going on. You need to wake up to who you are. You need to wake up to the power that you have. Because if we can all agree on one thing, everybody know that, that God is a healer. <laughs> He been doing this for forever. You know what I'm saying? And so think about it. If he can do it for somebody else, why can't he not do it for you? You just, again, it's conditions. You got to speak up. You got to share your testimony. I don't care what it is. It, it, what, it don't matter because he healed you. Give me some more messages for the co collective, okay? Read the fine print. There is conditions upon your healing, okay? I'm seeing light worker here. I'm also seeing evil family here. This came, this fell out, so I'm gonna keep it. Whoa, my jacket is. Messing up the cards. Okay. We're going to keep it because it, it came out. Okay. 
but I'm seeing light worker here at the bottom. For some of y'all, it's something, for some of y'all, it's something somebody in your family did to come against your health. They tried to compromise your health. Yeah, for somebody, if somebody tried to compromise your health, this somebody in your family, or this is somebody that you was loyal to, somebody you consider family. Yeah, and you see how this is falling on, um, hold on guys, because this is going to blow me. You see how uh, this evil family member, right, is falling on this brother's card. For somebody, this could be a brother, okay? This could be a brother or a male figure, okay? But you're an earth angel, healer here, okay? You come from a divine lineage, okay? Again, your DNA is different. You somebody, your body might heal on its own or you get downloads of you You know what to do to heal your body or what, what uh, herbs to use to heal your body, okay? You are a healer. But for some of y'all with this earth angel here, it's kind of like, I don't know, your body is, again, potency here. Yup. So it's like you you have a potent energy, right? Your DNA is so potent, right? So it's something about your body just fight back. Your body just naturally fight back or fight off a lot of um, sickness and illness. Again, potency. I'm seeing spell work, okay? Sage your space is here. Sage your space is here, okay? Dog, I need to sage my space. This make me want to sage my space, okay? So actually, I'm going to close out the reading here because this actually definitely... Um, and look what's at the bottom of this. Along with black sheep, Okay? And I'm seeing, look, natural Reiki powers with uh, royalty. For somebody you into Reiki, again, you a healer of some kind, okay? For some of y'all, y'all family hate on y'all, okay? Somebody in your family doing some, trying to do some type of spell work. Again, but you highly ranked in the spiritual realm, okay? Somebody might be doing some type of death spells, okay? Somebody might be doing some type of death spells, but I'm seeing DNA upgrade. Again, I already said it. Your DNA is different. You come from a divine lineage, okay? Even though you was born into th this family with these people, you don't have the same DNA as them. Again, you highly ranked. So you can't be touched. The shit that they do don't work. For somebody, you a spiritual teacher, you a spiritual guru of some kind. And it's like God has created the perfect storm, okay? God has created the perfect storm, okay? You will impact many people, okay? You gonna convert many non-believers, okay? With your testimony, okay? So again, read the fine print. Read the fine print, okay? There is conditions upon your healing collective. So hit that thumbs up subscribe if you have not subscribed okay thank you guys for watching